You're listening to the Conference Board of Canada's Mental Health and COVID-19 series with Dr. Bill Howitt, Chief of Research, Workplace Productivity. Hi, Bill Howitt, Mental Health, COVID-19, Conference Board of Canada. Welcome. So the question I have today to get us started is, is how are you doing with your financial health today? Now, I pause just because for many of us, not so good. Some of us are doing fine. A lot of it depends on perhaps our circumstances and our situation and how we actually were focusing on our financial health prior to COVID-19. Now, whether you know it or not, before COVID-19, one of the number one causes of stress in North America was financial health. It's very common. I read a stat last year that a hundred, uh, what was, how did it went? Something like this. I'm just trying to remember. Give me a second. Yes, this is what it was. It was approximately uh, of your disposable debt. Um, people's debt load were 177% of their disposable debt. That 54% of the population that went to work were concerned about financial debt. In fact, I was at a conference this year where I heard uh, Excellence Canada at a presentation that we did at the Conference Board of Canada in British Columbia. They cited a quote that the average employee spends approximately an hour a day distracted at one way or another worried about their finances. If that stat is remotely close, if you have 18 and a half million people working, well, you do your math, that's about 9 million hours a day loss in productivity, worried about financial health. So this financial health thing is a big deal. And especially in a pandemic where there can be uncertainty and people have lost their income and et cetera, it's important for us to be able to have a conversation around financial health and be able to go through some basics. Now, first, much like uh, when I talk about this is not therapy or counseling, I am not a financial expert. <clears throat> I'm not a financial expert by any means. However, in my world, I end up helping people have conversations around their financial health because it's a big stressor for many people. So first, one of the things I get people to do in times like this is to take an inventory of what their current budget is. You probably have done it. If you haven't, it's a really good idea to sit down and build your budget right now. And there are three buckets typically a budget will have. Those are your bills then your discretionary, and then your savings. And some of you might go, what are you talking about savings? I can't, I, I, can't, I can't think about that right now. In fact, it's probably a good idea to be thinking about your savings. If not the ability to save right now, it's to start to create some aspirational plans of where you want to go. One of the challenges is that there's a rule that many people in the financial world have given people is that you probably your best to have three months of savings. So if you ever needed three months to be able to carry yourself without your any income for three months for some type of transition or some type of crisis. It's not that I'm meant to have anyone feel upset or guilty or bad, but the reality is if we can anchor that experience right now to be able to have that. Now, my dad, was, I'm a bartender's son. We were taught different. We were taught to have 12 months. And, and the reality is, is that I worked aspirationally to put X percentage of my income away for many, many years because I was taught to live frugal. Now, why I'm sharing that with you is because we all have different experiences. And what I want you to be aware of right now is a feeling bad about the decisions we made, as my learnings have taught me over the years, do you, do you no good? However, being mindful of your experiences can actually help you make some decisions going forward. So getting your budget. And yes, setting some goals for savings once you get on track, if financial stress is right now important. Second, wants versus needs. Anything that sometimes what can happen is there can be some compulsive shopping right now because people could be on their couch feeling bad or surfing or going on to one of the online things and ordering something they may or may not need right now that's necessary. And financial health is a challenge right now. Really be mindful of putting a decision tree on what we're going to buy when we need to buy it. Another thing you could be doing right now is the federal government's doing some amazing things. Again, there's tax. I mentioned before, that's why I say again in some of my earlier videos, in case you didn't see that one, is that there's some tax uh, um, opportunities to defer taxes. So my belief is, I'm not sure, again, because I'm not a finance person, but I think you can defer your income tax if you owe money until September. 
Uh, there is other types of, for example, in May, I believe in May and June and July, again, there, for, for every child, there's gonna be, I understand, a $300 additional boost. So there's gonna be some extra support. Um, there, if you have um, different types of um, uh, opportunities, probably the best thing to do is, instead of me trying to list them all, is go to the federal government and you can Google federal government for uh, financial uh, health strategies and they're gonna list all their different programs for you as well. Um, avoid taking on any debt right now um, the best you can. That's not, so if you don't need to be running your credit card up or doing that, that's unless you, unless it's an emergency for a repair for a car that you need to be able to do essential work or getting to work, like really be mindful about it right now uh, so that you can start to be building your financial budget, your plan, your decision tree and your future opportunity. It's good to be thinking about where you want to be going as well. Um, if you're perplexed by this, because I'm not a financial planner, lots of financial planners are out there that have opportunities to talk to you about giving you ideas. Be careful of who you talk to and accept financial advice. Um, my rule of thumb, again, a bartender's son is my, my financial planner I've picked is way more financially successful than I am. And they're, I know they are based on their quality of life, and I've known them for many, many years. Very dear friend, I trust implicitly. Uh, however, they not only have financial wealth, they manage their own financial wealth, and they ensure that their clients are protected. So it reminds me I need to give them a call this week to see how we're doing. Now, the other one is important for you to be thinking about for t is, I think in this point in time, is all the fraud. <clears throat> it's protect yourself from scams. Sadly, in times like this, when there's challenges and people go through that are in stress, there's some money, there could be opportunities for these get rich quick schemes. There are none, there's no such thing as those. Um, or looking to buy lottery tickets, that's sometimes people do that as a symptom relief to try to create something to hope. I'm more talking about people that are trying to take advantage of the situation. So be mindful of scams and schemes and things like that so you can protect yourself from that financial fraud and ensure that you're being aware of that. Now, those are tactical things that you can do for your financial health. Um, my sense to you is that you would probably be well advised too, is if you're struggling with stress, to be thinking about some strategies that you could be doing to ameliorate stress that around your thinking, your emotion, that, that you can do through, through different stress reduction uh, methodologies that we, we probably should be talking about. And I, I, it actually reminds me, it'd probably be wise for us now to start giving you some more micro skills to start thinking about, that you can start taking something tangible and start practicing it. This conversation around financial health today was just to, to normalize that lots of people are struggling with this, normalize it's really, really stressful, and to be aware there are some things that you can do that were inside your control. So with that, I'm gonna wish you a good luck and considering all the things that are happening right now, paying attention to your financial health would be advantageous, talking about it and not trying to figure this all out by yourself. There's no need to do that if you're struggling. Uh, there's also debt uh, folks that can help you too if you're having trouble where you're concerned about bankruptcy, there's insolvency folks. And just be mindful talking to your banker, getting advice. There's, there are things that can happen I believe everybody right now wants to do the best they can to give people a chance and an opportunity to get through this because we know there'll be another side to this. That's what we're gonna believe. It's important to do that to see where we're going, not where we are. Kind of like what Gresky said, you know where the hockey puck is, don't go to where it is, go to where it's going. <clears throat> be thinking about the opportunities that we can create. So with that, take care, all the best. Speak soon. Hi, Bill Howitt here. Hopefully you're finding these videos of some value. If you'd like to share these, on the lower right of your video, there's a icon you can click. You can send it through your social media feeds. Join the Conference Board of Canada social media feed so we can keep you up to date. And if you have ideas or suggestions, please leave your comment so we can consider them. And if you have things that you'd like us to speak to, I certainly will try to do all I can to help out. With that, have a wonderful day.